Hello, uh, Topi Worlds. Uh, there is a short story about our great ancestor, Malak Ahmad Khan, who was the originator of the use of Zaids, um, tribes, conquest, and the regions where we live. Uh, Mardan district, Swat, Bajor, Deer. He was the conqueror and uh, he added a lot of land to the use of Zaid territory. And he supervised the migration from Afghanistan uh, right uh, around uh, Babur's uh, conquest of India. A little before that, he happened to um, bring the use of, dry, use of Zaid tribes to Peshawar region and then he made them settle in the Waba and uh, started its conquest of Bajor, Deer, Swat, etc. Uh, the most authentic uh, account of Yusuf Zai history is uh, Tariq Hafiz Rahmat Khan. Uh, I happen to have read that book quite some time ago, but I still remember one of the episodes which I would like to share it with you guys. Uh, he being very strong and uh, was a threat to the king of Kabul, so the king uh, kind of conspired to lure him to the um, uh, to the capital. He invited him to come and uh, join him in a friendly way. Uh, his uh, friends advised him not to go because uh, of the known uh, uh, cunningness, connivingness of the king. And uh, he told, uh, they told him not to trust him. Maybe that's a trap to have him killed. But he said that he wants to take the chance and he did go to Kabul to meet the king. The king uh, had him stationed uh, in a place and, and uh, then he uh, really uh, uh, conspired to, king, uh, to kill him. Uh, one of the days uh, he sent some soldiers to arrest him and to bring him to the court, to the to the palace. While taking down uh, the streets of Kabul, um, a huge uh, crowd of spectators were gathered and and, uh, and they were saying that here goes the man who's going to be killed soon. When he reached the Darbar, the king has already poisoned the arrow and he was ready to shoot him with his own hands. As soon as he entered the Darbar, he pulled his bow and pointed the arrow at him. As soon as he saw that, he immediately tore down his shirt and stood uh, bare-chested in front of the king. The king was awestruck by his action and said, uh, why did he do that? He lowered his bow and asked him, why did he do that? He said, uh, my lord, you are a king and I don't like you to be embarrassed in front of the courtiers as you are pointing the arrow at me. Uh, I want you to have a straight shot lest the arrow get stuck in my coat. And uh, the king was so impressed with his, uh, with his uh, bravery that uh, he offered him to, to come and sit, sit next to him and pardoned him and then he took him to his private quarters and 
offered him a drink and the king started drinking and got high and started dancing and and uh, he had a servant who was playing uh, Malik Ahmed Khan's servant was playing music and and uh, the king would go round and round and every time he would pass by him he would stretch his hand like a dancer uh, would ask for some money and Malik Ahmed would put a coin in his palm and then he would keep on dancing and then he would ask him who's the who is better, him or the king of Delhi, who happened to be Abraham Lodi at that time. And the Malik Ahmed would tell him that in many ways he is, he is better than him and would, would uh, try to please him and they became good friends. And that's one of the episodes I remember from the book I wanted to share with you. Thanks a lot. Next episode we can um, tell you the story how he got married to Malik Ahmed Khan's niece, Bibi Mubarika. That account is also taken from that 